Steve was collaborating with BBC to look at the lives of people within the West Indian community. And immediately I wanted to be a part of it because, you know, my culture as a Guyanese uh, woman, I, I really relate to the Caribbean. And I was just so interested in how that was going to be made. And I remember just really telling my agent at the time, um, Icky, um, still my agent, of course. And I was just like, hey, can you please search for this for me and find out, you know, what's going on? I was, I was willing to take, you know, uh, I was willing to play like a tree. I don't, I didn't, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this is so good. This is Steve McQueen. Like, this is top level. Um, Jodie, I want to start with you. After yes. series two of Killing Eve, what were you excited to learn about Villanelle in series three? Oh, what was I excited about? I think for me, what becomes more important as this show continues is to to move the character forward. Um, you know, because I think there's a tendency uh, to want to keep the things that everybody loves and has been a huge success and, and repeat them because they're working. Um, but you know, the, the more you do that, the kind of more predictable it comes and the more mundane. So for me, this idea of exploring her background and not to necessarily um, give sympathy, you know, provoke sympathy towards her, but just to try and understand her a little bit better was was really exciting to me. I like it when they put a, her in a in a situation she's never been in before, and that situation was very unfamiliar. So, um, yeah, that was that was exciting. And then, having played the role for so long, do you feel a bit more empowered now to collaborate with the writers from the early stage of production? Because you know, you almost know better than anyone. Definitely. I mean, I, I think that's what I'm most grateful for this this show and, and this production for is like they've really enabled me to find my voice in that way mm -hmm. by, you know, inviting me into that space and sitting at a table with the writers and and explaining to them what I don't think is necessarily working or what I really like and being able to throw my ideas about in that space and realize that they're not all bad, yeah. <laughs> you know, like. I, sometimes I kind of know what I'm talking about and sometimes, <laughs> and sometimes I don't but that's okay like it's a safe space so mm -hmm. I definitely you know I, I I have definitely picked that up and and I've definitely taken that on you know to, to future projects for mm -hmm. sure yeah. and Hayley once you'd accepted the role of Jolene in adult material which elements of the character and the show were you like really really keen to start researching where on earth did you begin um well, we began, there were, there were a number of different elements when it came to research or prep. There was the research that we did myself, um, Sienna Kelly, Dawn, who directed it, Lucy, the writer. We, we did a kind of collaborative research into the world of porn. Mm -hmm. um, we were able to work with an advisor um, a lady called Rebecca Moore, who'd been in the industry for a long time. She was amazing. She did some workshops with myself and Sienna and everything from kind of body language to telling us uh, various different stories or the sort of logistics of how things work. We wow. visited a, a porn set mm -hmm. one Saturday morning. Um, we went along and we spoke to the, the men that worked there and the, the performers um, so there was that side of it and then which I kind of got stuck into particularly with, Re with Rebecca because I was very aware of people watching it who work in that industry and it not being an accurate I mean Lucy had written an accurate uh, portrayal mm -hmm. but to be able to transfer that in the performance was very important um, and then just separate to that I did my own prep that I would do on any job which is backstory and history and where have they been and um just going back into Lucy's scripts over and over and over and over again because they were so complex and um and layered and just pulling out as much information as I could to to feed what I was trying to create with Jodine. What what did you uncover that maybe surprised you the most that you maybe weren't expecting in the research process? Specifically about the industry 
not even the industry, but about the role, just about the project in general, because presumably, you know, you go into a project with preconceptions and then, you mm. know, through your research, something comes out. Yeah. Well, I think in, in research and in prep, the, the main thing that I came to understand was just how um, complex the system is when it comes to the porn industry mm-hmm. and how it is big big business in the same way that um anything on the internet is be it be it google or youtube or anything else um the sort of layers to that were quite mind-blowing um and that led me to then be able to understand because she's an expert jolene's an expert within her field yeah and that allowed me to then play that with confidence Mm -hmm. because i was able to I knew that I knew what I was talking about because we'd done that research. That makes sense. Mm. Um, Letitia, speaking of confidence, you know, your confidence as Althea is just mind blowing. Tell us about how you became to be involved in small acts. It's, what a role. Bless you. Bless you, Rihanna. Um, uh, I literally, um, I saw this in 2015, I saw a, just a IMDb article, you know, like when they announce a new show that's about to come on board. And I saw that Steve was collaborating with BBC to look at the lives of people within the West Indian community. And immediately I wanted to be a part of it because, you know, my culture as a Guyanese uh, woman, I, I really relate to the Caribbean. And I was just so interested in how that was gonna be made. And I remember just really telling my agent at the time, um icky um still my agent of course and I was just like hey can you please search for this for me and find out you know what's going on I was I was willing to take you know uh, I was willing to play like a tree I don't I didn't <laughs> <laughs> I like, this is so good this is McQueen like this is top level and and you know she went to work her herself and Femi went to work and they got the cast and director to come and watch one of my plays at the time that I was doing at the gate and it just started to just continue from there. And I think the way that, you know, God would have it is just like it all just aligned. And I finished um, promoting the film and I went to Trinidad and Tobago and I literally landed in Tobago. And I got this email saying that Steve wanted me to meet him about this role, about this beautiful woman called Althea jones Laquant who was born in Trinidad. And I just thought mm-hmm. that all the stars were like just aligning Incredible. and it was beautiful. And, and then, yeah, I just met with Steve, you know, and I, I really was re- ready to audition and really, you know, put the work in and prove, prove myself in a sense. And he was like, hey, man, like, I've been watching your work and I really respect you and I would love you to come on board. And that's a big thing for us. You know, mm-hmm. we, we, we work really hard in this industry. So to have someone just say, come on board is it's it's um, it's, it's, it's just a beautiful honor. So I just just dived into it right away but that's kind of like the backstory. I, I basically chased the part since 2015. <laughs> good for you. <laughs> yes, yes that's good. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah just be brave and put your hands up and be like hey mm. I'm interested you know. I want it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So then it must have been incredibly gratifying when you were on set with Steve McQueen. What did you learn from him that you want to take forward to your next roles? I learned so much. I learned, um, what I learned from him is that you're not too, you're not too um, big in, in a sense of where your position in your career is to just see yourself as an artist and be appreciated as, as such. Mm-hmm. And I learned that from him doing that to us. And I learned that no matter how, no matter where this career can take you and no matter the heights that you can reach, it's it's always okay to literally reach down to someone's level and say, hey, I see you and I appreciate you. And he taught me so much and he taught me about integrity mm-hmm. and he taught me about trust because sometimes you know how it is, Haley uh, and Jody. you know, sometimes you go on set and you're like, I don't know why I'm saying this on a and I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. And you, I think you're a bit crazy. And I had a couple of moments with Steve. He was like, are you sure Althea would say this? And he's like, trust me. And I'm like, I know that you're like, a, you're, like you're, you're an amazing artist, but 
has struggled to trust. And he really taught me about that. He really taught me that when someone really cares and someone spent years di dissecting, you know, a world and characters and stories and just really just putting things together for like five years, like you can really trust them. So he just, he just empowered me as an artist and I would forever be grateful to him for that.